when setting up an Exact Vision server for video recording, setup indicators available with Exact Vision Server 7.2 will guide an installer to configuration changes that will optimize the Exact Vision installation. Installers will be advised of configuration changes for motion detection, changing default passwords, setting up notifications, and more, ensuring optimal configuration. Setup indicators are available with Exact Vision Professional and Enterprise licenses and will require the system to have a current software subscription agreement or SSA. The indicator page will show all the available alerts for the system, such as motion not being configured, system time sync issues, and hard drive space messages. By default, all indicators are enabled and designated as warnings. Indicators can be disabled by simply unchecking the box next to any of the available indicators. The level of severity can also be changed using the drop-down menus, so that certain indicators can be seen as more severe if active. For example, it may be desired that the system finding no usable drives be an error, rather than a warning. Finally, indicators may also be searched using the filter box in the top right-hand corner. When finished changing the indicators, click the Apply button in the bottom right-hand corner of the page. Clicking Apply To will push the indicator's configuration to any additional servers currently connected. You can view the number of indicators currently active from the Live, Search, or Configuration page. Click the Indicator button in the top right-hand corner of the Live page to pull up the active indicators. A red X means that there's important configuration conditions to check or that the system's SSA is out of date. A yellow dash indicates that a warning indicator is active. A green plus indicates normal operation. From the drop-down menu, individual indicators can be dismissed, or multiple indicators of the same type can be dismissed simultaneously. Disabling the indicator permanently hides indicators of that type for the system, or for all connected systems. Depending on what may be causing the indicator to show, clicking on the indicator will bring that user to the corresponding page so that the problem can be addressed directly. In this instance, if a camera motion isn't configured, selecting the indicator will bring that user to the camera's motion page so that the motion can be set up. Once all indicators have either been addressed or dismissed, the indicator icon will turn green, meaning proper system operation.